Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. PDP backs calls for President Muhammad Buhari's resignation gives reasons. The People Democratic Party, PDP, has backed the call by the Senate Minority Leader, Senator Eyaneye asking President Muhammad Buhari to resign. Kola, PDP Publicity Secretary, in a statement on Wednesday, said it supported the call because Buhari has displayed a disheartening, unbelievable act of duty. PDP recalled comments by Buhari expressing surprise at the heightened insecurity situation across the country has defeated, demoralized, and traumatized Nigerians the more. The opposition stated that the president directly admitted that he was overwhelmed and lacked the required capacity to articulate and implement any solution to the escalated insecurity, ban banditry, kidnapping, bloodletting, and increased wave of violence under his administration. Our party holds that such a statement from a commander-in-chief who promised to lead from the point and front is distressing, as it further exposes an inability, inadequacy, and not being able to lead the country accordingly. It shows that Mr. President is not even abreast of his major task in government as the president, which is security of lives and property. The PDP is particularly worried over this appearance and ap attitude by the president. Displaying of leadership failure as Mr. President ought to be receiving a daily briefing from his service chief on the actual situation on ground. His, comment his commitment and comments concerning and the way of volume at which he has spoken on the matter on which security is supposed to be his paramount and first responsibility has shown that he has no clue of what is going on in the country. It's been, it shows Nigeria is being handled at the highest level of not, no regards. Consequently, we are calling for the administration of President Muhammadu to leave office. The PDP noted that such development has further enhanced what is going on in the country. The confidence of Nigeria is seriously not with, the, not with Mr. President. Nigeria has responded to Buhari's expression of his, uh, his non-awareness of what is going on in the country. Hey, in fact, I almost broke my jaw trying to express and not being able to contain my disbelief that Mr. President is not aware. If you listen to the news earlier on today, Mr. President expressed that he was overwhelmed and he's shocked at the level at which people are talking about insecurity in the country. That is your president, oh, President Muhammad Buhari. That is your president. That's why people keep saying that this is not the Buhari, the Nigerian man. This is actually, you know, alleged um, Jubrim, that this is not Buhari. How can you be expressing that you don't know what is going on in your country. You don't know of the insecurity situation and how people are dying, not in thousands anymore. It's gone to millions and you don't have a clue. So you are not being briefed by your, secure, your chief security officer or the, the security agencies in Nigeria, the army, the police, the navy. Nobody is telling you the true situation of things on ground. Hence, you don't know that Nigerians are dying People are being displaced from their home. People are suffering because you are living and riding in your private jet, living in their presidential villa, and you have no clue what is going on with the common man on the street. Shame on you. Now, the Senate, minority of the Senate, those are, kudos to those who have called for his resignation. Kudos to you. Because others will never speak up. They will keep quiet and they will keep it to themselves and nobody will say a word. Nobody will say a word. 
because they are seeing money. That's why the loot, the, the, the loot that they've carried out, you, you know, money that they've stolen from Nigeria are beginning to surface. The one that uh, Abacha, um, Madam Pr um, Pet um, Petroleum um, Minister, uh, James Ibori, they are all coming out. Yes, they are all coming out. It's only time it will take, it will tell. Those of you that are borrowing stash of money under your set, your, your, your circle way pits and under your houses and everything, if the money is not found, it will be destroyed. See how wicked you are. There are orphanages, children without parents. There are people suffering. Somebody just need a hundred thousand naira for an operation. And yet, just one person is touching away so much money. See how wicked you are. Now they fought for Buhari's resignation. The PDP is lending their voice and supporting. Nigerians, I want us to come out in, in mass. As we begin to call for his resignation, other parts of the nations of the world will begin to hear that we want our president to resign. And guess what? The first thing they will do in the civilized world is that they will call for an inquiry to look into the issue. That's why, please, Nigerians, you must speak up. Nobody is out of it. You cannot be quiet in a time like this and you cannot stay on the sideline. Everybody must lend their voice. Everybody must come together. One of the ways you can speak up, one of the ways your voice can be heard is by subscribing, clicking on the notification button and sharing this, this message. It helps the message to travel, to go to all the nations of the world. You name it, everywhere, Europe, America, Asia, China, the Australia, Dubai, everywhere. So as the message begins to travel all over the nations of the world, Great leaders and great nations will come together and say there is something going on in Nigeria. There is so much unrest. Let's go and investigate. Remember somebody has asked who made America the world police. Yes, the world police will come. And guess what? First thing they will do is carry on an inquiry, set up a committee. And they've already started, they started, they started hearing our voices. So our whistle are being heard because we are whistleblowers. But through this media, oh yes, trust me. We will not be quiet. We will let them know of exactly what is going on. Mr. President said this. He, he said, shock, cash am. Make a take am tell you for pidgin English. He said, shock, cash am. Eh? Insecurity for Nigeria. How will he be aware when the battalion of uh, Navy and soldiers and police that should be guiding the citizen that he pledged to serve and to make sure there's, there, there is security in the country are all standing beside him in front and in behind him and his family. How will he know? He has never had a taste before. His family has never been kidnapped. He has never lost a child. He doesn't know what he feels. He has never, he's living in the, he's, he's riding the presidential jet. He doesn't know what it takes and what is going on in the country. So I begin to wonder, and I'm in the school of thought with, this, with all the people that are saying, this is not the Buhari that was elected in, in 2015. That this is allegedly um, Jubrim, uh, Jubrim. So we need you to prove to Russell. And I want us to lend our voice. Let's throw our weight on this matter that Mr. President Muhammadu Buhari should resign. For him to come out and to say boldly that he's shocked, expressing that he's really shocked at what is going on in Nigeria. Oh, he tells you that your president has no clue. He doesn't even know what is going on in the country. So Nigerians, it's time to rise up. It's time not to be silent anymore. It's time to speak up for evil and wrongdoing in the country and to say no to injustice, no to corruption, no to insecurity. You know, all he needs to do is to speak up, is to, is to, is to call all the, uh, the generals to order and say, you know what, if we don't fish out these people, your jobs are at stake. And everyone will sit up. Everyone will sit up. Everyone will sit up. And these people will be fished out, and you'll be surprised at the calm that we, the calm situation that will flood Nigeria. So please, lend your voices. Don't forget to sh like, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. We are here to keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria. Please leave a comment for me at the comment section, and I will respond. And Nigerians together will look at what is going on. Thanks once again, and God bless. Bye.